Hello and welcome back to my channel. So there comes a day in everybody's life where your graphics card is not exactly working as it should or not giving exactly the right temperatures. Now what are you supposed to do if your graphics card is not giving good temperatures? First have a look at how dirty it is. I don't think you can see it properly but it is quite dirty. Right? So, what do we do? We usually just change thermal paste, really. So, to change the thermal paste in this MSI 580 Armor Edition, all you need to do is turn it upside down, right? Put a screw to it. You need something like this a decent screw. This is uh, an ordinary screwdriver, will not do. You need one of these slim ones. So you take out one screw, take out another screw, be sure to put some pressure while turning it otherwise you strip the screw. So there we go, right and this comes the warranty part and there you go, okay. Now what you need to be careful about, okay, is before you unplug everything, you need to unplug this wire, okay, so you need to unplug the fan wire especially in MSI armor okay others also have to be unplugged but uh, in this case uh, the plug is over here so you unplug this turn it the right way around all right and lift the cooler all right whatever okay so there we go okay uh, now what you want to do is let me find my brush I don't know where I kept it so you want to take one of these brushes a paint brush would do even an old one would do all right and you see this right and you just clean it off really not much to it see how much dust comes out of this right so you clean everything off and I think now it looks much better all right you might also want to clean over here if at all possible if it looks dirty all right and now that you have the graphics card you need to get one of these okay tear it apart alcohol Isoprene, alcohol and all. Wipe away the thermal paste. And you want to be careful around the edges, you see. You want to remove that as well. Because no way you want two thermal paste to mix. Alrighty then. Uh, almost about cleaned right you actually want to get rid of thermal paste even though it's not conductive enough and it won't harm nothing but you just want to make as good a job as you can you know okay and that's that okay now this I found out is the best thermal paste, right? You can get one of these, okay, that is liquid metal, but I don't think you want to mess around with liquid metal. You can get one of these, all right, but there are many not so authentic brands of the, out there and uh, China is making copies of it. So you might want to avoid the MX4 unless you buy it from a very nice place. So there we go, connect or not, okay. What I forgot was need to get another one, another thermal paste, uh, sorry, uh, alcohol pen. And you might want to clean this side as well, right? So that there is no thermal paste over here. Alrighty then, okay. All done. So now we need to apply the thermal paste, right? To apply the thermal paste, all you need to do is open this pack like so. 
and whatever. And there you go. Uh, connect to not thermal pastes. Okay, so we need to open this. Alrighty then. So there we go. All you need to do is one little dot here. Hey, that should be enough. Okay. Uh, the rule of thumb over here is more, uh, less is more. Alright. So that dot is more than enough. Okay. That should do the job. You don't need to spread it around or nothing. Um, as soon as the, as the cooler comes uh, put, apply some pressure over here um, everything gets squeezed out and it will do its job okay so that is that and you can blow out the cooler if you want I don't want to do it because I just did it I might want to clean it a bit just off camera you know just make sure I take out all the dust particles and all I need to do okay is align it over here properly Align it properly to put on top. Okay. Turn it upside down. At this moment, you don't need to connect the fence. Okay, that's that. Now I need to grab the screws. And having a magnetic uh, screwdriver really helps. Okay, you want to have a magnetic screwdriver. If you don't have a magnetic screwdriver, you can grab one of these okay these are the magnetizers and demagnetizers all right so all you need to do is insert this in the magnetizer bit and the whole metal becomes magnetized right so that is a very decent thing you don't need to hit it to a magnet or nothing just put it in here and see it does the work right so there we go and that should do the job. Um, you do really want to put it in a cross, um, cross formation kind of thing, but I feel that makes no difference. Anything goes anywhere. All right. What you want to do is first tighten this. All right. Then come here, tighten this. Okay. Then go here, tighten this. All right. And then go here, tighten this. Now, do not forget to plug in the fan wire, okay? I've done this more times than I care to explain. Um, all right, make sure you put the wire correctly and there you have it. A bit of cleaning here and there and you have a graphics card that has thermal paste on it. New thermal paste, better temperatures, um this is liquid metal connect a lot okay mm, this is conductive so you want to be very 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 careful about this all right and obviously you have the thermal grizzly um chironaut okay uh, non-conductive you can be careless about this it doesn't really matter it does the job i suppose i am not sponsored by these people i have no idea who they are and i just wanted to send you some information so there we are mx 580 armor edition 8 gigabytes all thermal plates replaced and everything looks neat and tidy 